union and intersection of some intervals here. So the way I personally like to do these is graphically or by drawing number lines. So here we have sets A and B. A is the set of numbers that are bigger than 3. So on a number line that would look like you're starting at the number 3 and bigger than, so either a parenthesis or an open dot, and shading occurring to the right. On the other hand, the B is an interval that is less than or equal to 5. So again, a number line. This time we're at 5, and now we want closed dot, because it's less than or equal to. The equal to gives us the closed dot, and then shading to the left. So I've got some shading to the left and some shading to the right. So overall, what are the two answers here? Well, union is like the English word or. It means either one or the other must hold. So when we're trying to put together the union, A union B, go down to the number line. We'll put the indicator at 3 and an indicator at 5. And for union, it means it can be shaded in either the top or the bottom. So either blue or green. So notice when we look up at our graphs that blue and green cover the whole gamut, the whole set of numbers from negative infinity to infinity. Right? The numbers that were located here were shaded by the bottom graph. The numbers that are in between 3 and 5 are shaded by both the green and the blue. And the numbers that are located above 5 are all shaded inside of the blue picture, the top one. So the interval the answer to this would be all numbers from negative infinity to infinity. On the other hand, if we consider A intersect B, that means the word AND. So now you're looking for ones that are shaded in the top and in the bottom. So again, using 3 and 5 as placeholders, we can see that we don't shade things to the left of 3 because they're only in the green. We don't shade objects bigger than 5 because they're only shaded in the blue. The numbers that we'll shade will be 3, 5, and in between, because by looking at both of my number lines, I can see those are both shaded top and bottom. Okay, a little bit more quickly, let's look at C and D here. So C, interval that is supposed to be less than or equal to negative 1. So here's negative 1, solid dot, and left. And then for the second example, or for set D, we want to be bigger than 4. So again, a number line, 4 with an open dot, and shading to the right. So now, what are the answers to the two questions? Well, the first one was intersection, which would be the things that are shaded in either the top, or both the top and the bottom. But notice that nothing is shaded in both the top and the bottom. So that means the answer here is no numbers are shaded, absolutely nothing at all, and that's the empty set. In the bottom one, we have C union D, so here we want the ones that are shaded in either the top or the bottom. So top, blue, gives us the numbers from negative 1 on down, and the top in the green gives us the numbers going from 4 and up. So the answer for the union would be negative infinity up until negative 1 and unioned with 4 off to positive infinity. So now why don't you pause the video and try one on your own. Here's an example, E and F. Both of these are going less than. So assuming you paused the video and tried it out on your own, let's try to do it together now and see if we get the same answer. So two number lines top one in blue will go to the number negative 2, less than or equal to, so we'll shade and shade to the left. The green one, the bottom one, would be x less than 1, so we'll go to 1, put an open dot, and shade to the left. So when we bring these together into our union and our intersection, the union, which is the or, means that we need things that are shaded top or bottom. So we will be going to 1 and below. Because notice that the numbers below negative 2 were shaded by both, but the numbers that are less than 1 were shaded by the bottom only, but that's okay for the or. On the other hand, for the and, we wish to take all the things that are shaded in top and the bottom simultaneously. 
So for that one, we'll go to the negative 2, put a closed dot, and let that shade to the left. In interval notations, these would be negative infinity up to positive 1 open, and negative infinity up to negative 2 being closed.